I made three simple but fun games in the first version of Scratch. Or the one I could get my hands on. I don't even know how I could still download this. Let's go. So look at this. Okay, I'm gonna have to figure this out. Paint a sprite, shoot a sprite, get a surprise. Okay, can I delete? Right click, delete. Okay, I'm gonna paint. Oh my god, what is this? Um, can I grow? This is gonna take some getting used to. So for our first game, I'm gonna make Cookie Clicker. And this may be harder than I thought. Can I? Oh wait, no. There we go. Okay. And can I fill? Oh, I can fill. Perfect. Oh, okay. Actually, I can do a bit of a gradient. Ah, see, look at wow. that. And I'm gonna add some darker chocolate chippies. Oh, <laughs> look at that. And you think it'd be possible if I made another gradient? Oh, it is, but that looks really ugly. <laughs> can I make it darker? Oh, okay, there we go. I'm not sure if that did anything, but let's go with it. Okay. Oh my god, look at this. Can I rename it? Oh, I can up here. Okay, this is so weird. Renaming it Cookie. Now the cookie doesn't do anything. So let's hit up here. Oh, why is it so thick? <laughs> why are these all so thick and so small, dude? Jesus. One grief I click forever. Going to set size. Going to get divide and minus. Put that like that size. I think it's near 300 and then two. And then when cookie clicked. Oh, I look at how they have like the actual name. Right click duplicate. Set it to 400. Now let's go check out our game. Oh god, what the hell? Oh god, okay. Pretty sure one of you guys commented that using the change rather than the set is better. It could be disastrous. Yeah, okay. I knew that. Okay. I'm gonna set it back to this. I'm gonna set this to 320 because that went super high. See, look at that. Perfect. Now we have the cookie clicker. But now we need to make a variable. Oh, okay. Naming it clicks. Okay. Can I double click it? Oh, I can even change it. Sick. I'm gonna set clicks to zero when I begin. And change clicks by one when the sprite is clicked. So now we have an actual cookie clicker game. How neat. I, I'm gonna move this guy right here. Like this. I think that'll look alright. But I'm gonna make it go up and down. So I'm going to do set Y. I'm gonna get timer times 100. Put that in there. Then I'm going to grab the squirts. What? This is different. Nope. Can I open it? I want the sin. There we go. Put you guys in here. And then I'm gonna get times two plus zero. I'm gonna put that all in there. I'm gonna put it in there. And now I think it should be rotating up and down. But it might be doing it kind of slow. Oh, oh my god, god what did I just do? How do I undo? Uh, there. Okay, now it should be good. Jesus, man. I change that to like power. Change you to like 200. Maybe like a three. And now you can see that he's bobbing up and down. What a good clicker game. I'm gonna change this to like 310. And now, forever, if touching mouse pointer, I'm gonna right click duplicate. And I'm gonna set it to 320. We know that doesn't make any sense. This has to be 310. And this has to be 320. Okay, there we go. Big bird. If else, put that in there. Put you in there. And I'm going to do put you in there. And now I think this is it. There we go. Look at that. But it's kind of slow. So I'm gonna do 320. Maybe just make it 340 at this point. There we go. Now we have some satisfying clicks. How neat. And I guess this is the basic clicker game. Oh no. Do we not have clones? Oh no. That's gonna be an issue. I was gonna make it look better. But apparently I don't think we have clones, do we? Looks like we don't. So this is the best that we're gonna get. But you know, maybe just make it slightly better. This is up to preference. Get rid of all that. Just put that out here. Put that like that. Change it to 90. So if I put in the point and direction, it'll go into 90 degrees. Put that up there. And as you can see, it begins to rotate. Another neat little addition. But maybe it's doing it too much. So go with like a 2 and a 100. So as we can see, it just, you know, really smoothly and really nice. Next, next game. game. So our next game is going to be Flappy Bird. That means I need to drop another thing. Instead, I'm going to go choose one. I want to see what these guys have in here. Animals, fantasy, letter, people, things. I'll go with animals. Oh, there's just a scratch cat. Okay. What is this cat, dude? Who drew these? Bro, there's just an actual elephant in here. Oh my gosh. Let's go check out some people. Okay, yeah, there's nothing really interesting in here, is there? This guy, though. He's on something. He's on something. I'm just gonna take something from the things, honestly. Let's make Flappy Soccer. And whoever calls it football, no. Wait, can things go off the screen? Oh, they can't. Okay. So let's begin the coding. Make a variable, you know, for this spread only. Y speed. Hey, okay. So y speed to zero. One green flag click. I'm gonna hide the y speed. I'm gonna forever change y by y speed. I'm gonna change y speed by negative one. That means it should fall. And when I start, forever, wait until key space press. Then set y speed to 10. Right click, duplicate, get rid of that, and get the not key space. Put then like this. And now if we come up here, we have a Flappy Bird game in the very first version of Scratch. And just because I'm gonna set it to zero, zero. But now I need things to try and kill it, you know? So I'm gonna go back into the sprite library. And you know what I'm gonna use for the pipes? Cheesy pup. I'm gonna go into the costume. How do I, can I edit it? Oh, I can. Perfect. Can I zoom out? Okay, there we go. I'm going to get all of you. I'm gonna right click duplicate. Can I rotate? Ah, there we go. I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna go like this. And now this should be the game. Just look at how terrifying those pipes are. I'm gonna call them pipe puffs. Sounds right. So now I gotta do the coding. Wayne start. Go to negative 300. Forever change. X by 5. So it's positive 300 and negative 5. I'm sorry. I'm a buffoon. There we go. Also, my ball's looking kind of big. You know what I mean? It's time to 
So let me just set his size to 50. Ah, uh, that's more like it. And then I'm going to do forever say X position. So now I can just do a little bit of uh, debugging. Let's see when it stops. It stops at negative 292. So forever. When if I click forever, wait, there's a forever if. What the? Okay, whatever. Forever if less than. If X position is less than negative 293. Sorry, 91. I'm going to right click duplicate, set X or go to X 300. So now it should be. There we go. Now it's going to go by infinitely. Wait, 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 wait. You're telling me that you've watched five minutes of this video and you're not subscribed? Do me a favor, go down and subscribe for me. All right, thanks, man. Let's continue. Get rid of the say X position. And now, just for fun, I'm going to do pick random 50 to negative 50 Y. Oh, now it's down here. Okay. Now it's a little bit up. Okay. And, you know, maybe it's in the middle. It's slightly random. You know, it's better than it just being nothing. But now we have to die when we touch it. So, when if I clicked forever, if, you know what, I'm going to use the forever if just because it looks kind of funny. Forever if, touching. Hey, puffs. I'm going to broadcast the message. Death. And when I receive death, stop all. And so now we can actually die. But it's no fun if you don't have a score. So I'm gonna make a variable. Name a score. Set score to zero. And go into the pipe. Right click duplicate. Oh crap, no. Right click duplicate. And if X position is let me get change this real quick. Get that. But change score by one. And equals if X position equals zero. Then it's gonna change the score by one. So now look at that. We have an actual Flappy Bird game. Now if I die, you die. You know, pretty simple concept. And for our last game, it's gonna be a top-down shooter game which is going to be pretty cool. So to begin this process, I'm going to make my own and I'm going to try my best to make a triangle. I think something like this could do for now. I'm going to fill it in with a little bit of a gradient. I'm going to make the color gray. I'm going to make this one darker gray. So now as we can see, we have our little player. I'm going to do one green flag click, go to zero, zero. And now I'm going to have to make the controls. I'm going to do forever point towards mouse pointer and it's the opposite way. So I'm going to have to go into the costume and I'm going to have to rotate it like so. So now I think it should be working. Yes, yeah, see, look at that. Perfect. And now I have to make the control. So if key W press, then I want some smooth movement. So I'm gonna make a variable for this sprite only. X speed, make a variable for this sprite only. Y speed. Now I'm actually gonna put this into a different area. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start forever. If W, then I'm going to change, change Y speed. I'll go by five. And then I'm still here, I'm gonna forever change Y and change X. I'm gonna change X by X speed and Y by Y speed. Also forever going to set X speed to times X speed times 0 0.9. Right click, duplicate. Get rid of that. Put this up here. Set set Y speed to Y speed times 0 0.9. And so I'm going to right click duplicate. And I'm going to do the same for S. I'm going to change it by negative 5. And so now if we go up here, I think we should have some vertical movement. So look at how smooth that is. Smooth vertical movement. Except you do get quite fast. And I'm also going to change this to like maybe like 2 and negative 2. Because that's quite quick. Before I make a cap, I'm going to also just do right click duplicate. A, X, 2. Right click duplicate. Change it to D. And now we should have entire movement. Oh, I did it the wrong way. Crap. Just exchange those. And now we have... Why am I... Why? What? Oh, because this is Y. Change it to X. And now we have pull on smooth movement. And it also looks at your cursor, which is pretty neat. And yes, you could probably go extremely fast. I could make a cap, but I think it's kind of fun how you can just zoom around. I'm going to get rid of these variables. Oh, I, I accidentally kept the score. I'm going to delete score for now. But now I think we need to make a shooting. A shooting. That sounds stupid. Okay, whatever. I'm going to make a bullet. So I'm just going to zoom in real quick and make a classic. I don't know what, I'll make him a red bullet. Like so. I'm going to name it bullet. When grief I clicked, go to player. I'm going to do forever go to player. And I'm going to do repeat until. I'm going to put go to player and point in direction. Player direction. Repeat this until. I'm just going to make a variable. I'm going to call it shoot state. I'm going to set shoot state to no. And I'm going to do repeat this until equals shoot state equals. Oh, sorry. I'm actually stupid. Repeat this until yes. And then this is no. So now I think if I do when space clicked, I'm going to set shoot state to yes. So now if I go to here, I think it fault. Yes, it does in fact follow me. I'm going to shoot and yes, there we go. Now it just sits there. I think this is coded terribly, but whatever. But now I'm going to just do forever repeat until or touching right click duplicate touching it's going to be either or touching edge or this is going to be for the enemy and it's going to move 10 steps until that happens and then i'm gonna get rid of the forever i'm gonna do set shoot state to no so now i think this should work i go like boom now it comes right back so look at that how neat but as we can see it like you know kind of ugly you know it's like in front of us which is not cool so i'm gonna go in the looks hide and then show and then hide actually no i probably i probably just want to put that up there to be honest so now if i go like this boom 
boom, boom, boom. I'm gonna make me go to front. See, look at this. We have a shooter game, but now we need to make the enemy. So I'm just gonna hide the shoot state, and now I'm gonna draw myself a little enemy. And my enemy is going to look like this. Actually, no, this. That is now my enemy. Well, it looks kind of ugly. Let me give the boy a little bit of an outline. There we go. Now he's looking spicy. Rename him enemy. Or one grip, five clicks, rubber, point towards player, and move 10 steps. Actually, no, I'll make him move like five steps. Now I can go into the bullet and change this to enemy. I also need to make him go to a random area. So go to, no, go to Y, 300, and then pick random, negative 100. Now I'll go like negative, oh, negative 200, 200. But I also need to make the enemy die. So forever, if touch in the bullet, then I'm going to duplicate and go to position and whatever. And I'm also going to make the score now. So score, I'm going to change score by one, and I'm going to set score to zero when beginning. But I also need to make the player die if he gets touched. So when grief I click forever, if touch an enemy, then we are going to stop all. And so now if we play the game, I think it should work. Oh, look at that. Oh my god. Dude, they're so fast. You can also tweak the settings to your liking, but you know, this looks pretty all right. So this is how you make three really simple but really fun games in the first version of Scratch. And oh crap, I just died. Like and subscribe for more. See you.